I got my badge for the 24th edition of Critical Communications World. It's, by the way, the third time this event is going to be held in Dubai. Uh, the second time in the World Trade Center. And last time it was 2018. Uh, that was a more localized event, a more regional event, actually, uh, at another location. This is the World Trade Center. 170 exhibitors will exhibiting here. Uh, the guests will arrive. People are preparing. This is the booth over here where you can sign up. Um, over there as well. And that is the entrance. So join me in Critical Communications World 2024. And let's first hit the booth of Leonardo. Alright, so this is the booth of Leonardo, perfectly centered in the middle of Critical Communications World 2024. Everything about cybersecurity, everything about AI, everything about device-to-device -device communications. Let's start asking Angelo Benvenuto about the latest developments on Critical Communications here at Leonardo Critical Communications World 2024. Now, Angelo is just around the corner over here. Angelo Benvenuto, you might have seen him in one of my other videos explaining the technical solutions that Leonardo is offering, but there are some updates, right, Angelo? So what is new? Oh, we're starting with our award-winning MCX application, and uh, we have added a significant feature that allows the deployment in uh, massive uh, telecommunication networks. A couple of features. One is uh, the possibility to handle the spectrum in an effective way. So interfacing with the EMBMS, so an answered multicast and broadband system. That's a long word. <laughs> yeah, it's right. a long okay. word, but it is an effective word okay. that allows to the efficient users of spectrum. So we have integrated with an ANSYS, the third party, just to testify that our application is standard and is easily to integrate with. And we are showcasing also multi-vendor capability with usage of the third party terminal, cross-call, and just to provide uh, to squeeze the best uh, from all the network and provide in terms of uh, multimedia capability and the management of priority preemption. And another important thing, sir, we are also pioneering the technology. And so, together with Qualcomm and Softil, we won the ICCA award for yes. best emerging technology and, use. And that is an extreme important one because, because that are not just brands, right? Qualcomm is very established. Uh, exactly. And software is very much innovative, right? Yes, that, that's correct. That's important to testify that, uh, I mean, 5G communication need to, to some extent, close the gap with an aeroband, providing also device-to-device -device communication. Still not in use, still experiencing, but the technology is in place, and uh, it's an important step for having broadband communication uh, to serve uh, the professional mission critical oh, communication. Okay. And another characteristic of our boot, it is the in increased use of artificial intelligence. And now we are using artificial intelligence to provide advanced video analysis capability, and so in security application. Okay, well that's interesting because I've seen AI popping up everywhere, right, at, the, at, at this event, also at your place. So that means that you're the, using the right path for development, right? That's correct. Uh, I mean, uh, our division is uh, framing uh, among uh, uh, some technological anchors. Why don't you use other things in your organization of to course. support critical communication? That's correct. That entirely makes sense here. Cybersecurity. Uh, I'm very much interested in that, but I'm more interested in AI-driven security platform that you're presenting right here. You cannot think about a world without AI at the moment, right? That's right. Um, okay. you, won't see, you don't see it, but it's there. So, That's correct. what's here then? Ah, we are using AI in, in different sectors. We're using also in cybersecurity to perform, uh, let's say, uh, natural language processing, but also uh, to, to helping our intelligent uh, cyber intelligence application to uh, analyze massive amount of data. But we're using also artificial intelligence uh, in a, let's say, physical security environment, uh, providing video analytics. We have developed uh, our uh, machine learning sets, deep uh, convolutive neural networks, uh, that uh, enrich our video analysis application and provide uh, 
a set of uh, internally developed algorithms that can be deployed on standard camera and enhance the capability of security operator. Understanding scenes, recognizing objects, recognizing dangerous situations. As you can see here, right, we can, on we the can screen. We like, can yeah. see them, uh, recognition of people, but yeah. we have developed uh, an application for rescuing people lost in mountains. Yes. We have developed an application that understands fighting. So critical communications, right, where it's critical communications world, it's not only about voice anymore, it is everything that supports the critical operations. Yeah, because critical communication is, is part of a critical ecosystem. And the ecosystem is encompassed in security, situational awareness, cyber security, digital application, everything that needs to cooperate exactly. in order to provide security, safety. Can, can you imagine, if you would have been here 10 years ago, right, at this event, you would have seen a total different event with total different vendors. Well, you will be here, definitely, yeah, because yeah, you yeah, have sent for we a were, long, long time. We were. Total different solutions. So, can you imagine how fast the ecosystem has grown? Unbelievable, yes. is it? And so, have... that, that means how fast will it grow in the future? But maybe that's a question to have answered by Milko, because that's he correct. probably that's looks correct. into the direction, right? They finally have a better picture than, uh, than mine. All and, right. Uh, so, I leave the scene to him. Okay, thank you so much. Andy. Thank you, thank you, thank you again. Milko Fabiani is uh, responsible for this department, right? When you talk about critical communications into Leonardo. Um, so, when you're responsible for a department like this, uh, there's a big responsibility that you have especially when we look into the future but the question is and i just had this talk with angelo what's next although you know this is just new and this just needs to be implemented with different customers but you might already think about the next step good question <laughs> i think that there are a lot of things that we have to do basically starting from what we are doing in terms of new capabilities for AI, for cybersecurity and evolution of next generation communication. We think that hybrid networks is something very important in the next future. So we think that we are able to provide to our customer a unique system with a lot of new features together with cybersecurity. So cybersecurity, AI, situation awareness, hybrid networks, where we invest in terms of uh, uh, competence, uh, resources, and so on. Uh, I, okay, so for example, there's a technology that is very supportive to critical communications, which is satellite technology. Yeah. Um, I, are you thinking about integrating satellite technology as well into your solutions? Yeah, so we are thinking to integrate the satellite communications so with uh, terrestrial networks. So we think that uh, the, the hybrid combination of uh, different kind of technologies will be the next future. So we work uh, on the, in this uh, direction and we work uh, to provide to our customers the uh, user experience, uh, the capabilities, the competence uh, that we have uh, because yeah. we are historical uh, providers of the technology. So we have uh, a strong know-how in the, this, uh, this sector. But what you cannot do yourself you need to establish through cooperation with other organizations. You just released a white paper yeah. right, yesterday. Um, that was a short white paper that was very clear about working together in this industry with different organizations. So can you give an example of how you are working with different organizations on different projects? Well, we are working in different projects in abroad, in Italy, but also in, uh, in different countries that we all work with operators because we know that it's very important to have a relationship with operators in different partners, tenders. We work with some specific partners for the implementation of the systems because we are very open, we are very flexible, we are very uh, system integrator role. We have some competence, but we need to cooperate with the other stakeholders, with other, and in order to, to provide a complete ecosystem uh, our customers. Yeah. And that's what you exactly see with the relationship with Qualcomm and with Softel, right? Yes, exactly what we are doing. Qualcomm and Softel is an example for this. That's what we are doing in terms of a new emergency technology. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to speak to you next year in Brussels because that's where Critical Communications World is heading to and to, to, to talk to you and to so you can share 
some experiences over the last past year. You know, what's your experience on the different technologies and, and how you see it moving? So thank you very much for your time. Okay. Much appreciated. Thank right, you. So this is my second day here at the Leonardo booth and, and the company keeps on winning prices. It's remarkable. It's not only this year, they won prices year after year after year. Uh, so that means something is going very well. Young Engineer of the Year Award, that's an important one, starting with engineering, of course. Oh, well, it starts with motivated people. Getting in a young engineer on board up to the level of the TCC, where Francesco Pasquale was rechosen as the board member. And received an award for his outstanding contribution to the Critical Communications Association. And yes, they won also a prize of the most innovative products of the year award. Um, so, as I said, it's not only this year, it's year after year. So, in other words, it's worthwhile following this company to understand how the Leonardo ecosystem for mission-critical end-users can effectively support their new needs for next-generation operations.